you write your name on it. And resume scene. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I am back. Thank you. Don't stop waiting, ladies. All right. So, um, so I'm gonna. I, I am gonna go down and recognize uh, the people who are our seniors who are graduating, which is damn near everybody. It's kind of frightening. And then. Um, yeah, just uh, just to, to, to thank you guys, honestly. Um, so first up, first up is Leslie Hunt. Oh crap. Leslie Hunt. <laughs> And, um, and, and if you have any you know, pertinent memories, I know that we've roasted a lot of these people, but um, Leslie Ann was one of the, uh, how did Leslie Ann get into speech? She's one of the, a lot of you share this, Leslie Ann took beginning speech class, and if I remember right, just come to Rev, <laughs> did not know what the heck she was getting herself into, transferring <laughs> school, coming from uh, the wonderful cultural mecca of the San Fernando Valley, to the <laughs> wonderful not so, not so cultural mecca deadlines here, <laughs> uh, and so, and, and, I, and I'm sure I don't know this for certain, so I'm taking kind of a guess here. But I'm guessing that Leslie Ann probably ended up in beginning speech, totally on a whim. Like, I'm guessing your counselor probably threw you in there. No, did you pick it? Oh, nice. That's awesome. So, but you definitely didn't know me, and I didn't know you. So, but it became um, pretty clear. I always have a lot of respect for people who, as cliched as it is, are kind of bold and daring enough to be an individual in, in a setting where, like, really everything's trying to squash the individual nature out of you. And Leslie Ann, right off the bat, I could tell that she totally was unique, and I know part of that is probably coming to Rev and not growing up here, but I just think she brought totally this different spirit. And I remember, I can remember the, one of the first times that she got up to speak in class, um, the very first time you spoke in class was like another side of you came out that I had not not seen. And I already thought like Leslie Ann was really cool because she had just kind of a cool sense of taste and style. And even in the first couple of weeks, I, I could tell um, that she had a lot of really cool interests. But she got up to speak, and it was like a totally different person. Like you know when somebody speaks and you never expected kind of what they do to come out of them. And I was kind of like as soon as Leslie Ann spoke, like a minute into her speech, I remember writing on like the paper I was grading her, that like she had to be in contest speech, like right off the bat. It was like, it was like perfect. So, um, so Leslie Ann came into our class and obviously, it's, it's funny because for as often as you're absent, <laughs> or for as often as you're late, I think everybody in class like totally recognizes and realizes when Leslie Ann's not here. Yeah. And I think that's awesome because, and that's not just because you're gone a lot. I think in this class in particular, that's because when you are here, you totally bring something very unique to our class. You know, and whether it's like Thursday, everybody coming in block day and wanting the lost recap and wanting yeah. to get like Leslie Ann's take and interpretation <laughs> and you know metaphorical analysis of lost. Um, I think that says a lot. I mean, there are. It's kind of sad to say, but there are a lot of classes where when somebody's gone, nobody cares. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even recognize that so-and-so's gone. The teacher half the time doesn't even recognize that so-and-so's gone. So as strange as it, as it is, I think that's actually like a huge compliment that like when you're gone, people are always like, oh, Leslie Ann's not here. Or, well, give her 20 minutes, she'll walk away. You know, <laughs> something like that. Um, I think Leslie Ann has um, a lot of potential. And I know that it's been, at times, a struggle for you <laughs> adjusting to a new school district, a new school, a new people, a new town that's radically different. I can relate to Leslie Ann because having grown up in Redlands, though, I went away for 13 years and I came back and I was kind of like, man, I forgot how weird this place is. <laughs> this is a weird place if you've ever like, been elsewhere. This is a bizarre little town. Um, but Leslie Ann, you know, um, class wouldn't be the same without you, totally. I know that I personally am... Um, I'm definitely going to miss like having you come in because there were definitely things that would happen if, even if it was just like a stupid commercial on television or a song that I would hear and you know there are things that happen and you're like dude I want to know what that person thinks of that and that was always like there were things that would happen I'd be like I could ask Leslie what she thinks of that um, so I'm really going to miss like just the sharing you know that happened I mean you have a very very creative unique mind I think uh, and I think um, it's good that you're out of high school because now you can kind of go and do whatever you want to do, you know? And so, but I'm definitely gonna miss like catching up with you and having you here and all the different perspectives that you brought to class. I think you, um, I try 
to get a lot of different people in this class because, good God, I don't want a whole bunch of people in here that agree with me. That would be so boring. I mean, I've always said that, like, I agree. For what I <laughs> for what I believe, I mean, I always am reading books that that I totally disagree with because you know that's how you figure out kind of what you believe. If you're always just agreeing, if you're always just reading things that you agree with, you're not growing like in your mind or as a person. Um, and I know that Leslie and I don't even agree on a lot of things, but I think that's the best thing. It's like when we talk, like it's always good talks, you know. And um, she's not somebody I think who butts heads just to butt heads, unless it's Miss Harris. Um, yeah. but, um, but I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just miss the discussions that were going on, the things that we shared, and, and there were times where it was, I would really look forward to you coming in because I know that we had like a whole list of things to talk about. So, and and even though I know this was kind of a tough year for you with a lot of things going on, even with your family and stuff like that, you you have a lot of potential, and a lot of potential as a speaker. You really, when you want to be, you can be an awesome speaker really, really have a lot of good things um, going on and a lot of important things that you can share. So I'm definitely going to miss Leslie Ann. I'm really glad that she was in our class this year, and I think she added a lot. So Leslie Ann. Oh. Take a seat. <laughs> exactly. It's been coffee. Ethan, one of our second semester people, coming on in. Um, Geez, I've known Ethan 